Oh my gosh. I got a fish, but the line is so twisted. Oh my gosh. Retro bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about bill dance, watching these fish prance through my ray ban glasses. Ain't nothing better. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Today I am super excited for the special challenge that we're about to go through. Today on Retro Bassin, we're doing a special Roland Martin challenge. Right here I have a Roland Martin Signature Valvoline Tackle Box and it's filled with Roland Martin Signature Lures. Some of these bad boys are so old that I don't even know if Roland himself would remember them. So the goal of the challenge is this, we're going to head out on the lake today fishing with four different Roland Martin Signature Baits. And my goal is to catch at least one fish on each one. This might seem like a pretty simple challenge but some of these baits I've caught fish on before and some you all have seen me try it and I've still struck out on them. And I think you know which one I'm talking about. If this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish it old school, I'm talking classic rods, reels, lures, bait and equipment from the golden era of bass fishing. Stick around, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon. That way you know when we post a new video. So I'll see you on the water right about now. So it was a little bit crazy this morning. I don't know if I spelled out too well what the rules of engagement are today as far as my Roland Martin challenge. Been a huge fan of Roland Martin and I consider him one of the holy trinity of bass fishing. Of course Roland Martin, Jimmy Houston, and Bill Dance are the three names that I think of most when I think of the classic glory days of TV bassin. Been a big fan of Roland for many years. He has not been as prolific with sponsorships and lure designs as someone like, say, a Bill Dance. But that being said, he definitely has his name and has had his name on a few pretty cool baits over the years. So I've collected a couple of them. Um, first thing I was fishing with today was the uh, Diamond Rattler by Diamond Jim. It looks more like a Florida saltwater bait, to be honest with you, but I think it'll catch a bass. Blue Fox also had a pretty good line of Roland Martin baits, and I've got the Roland Martin spinnerbait in a couple of different colors. Roland Martin had his name on a couple of different weedless spoons over the years. Uh, I know for a fact he had it on the Johnson Silver Minnow, and I also kind of remember him doing a spot on the Rapala Minnow Spoon. Either way, as a nod to Roland's spoon fishing days in the Everglades, I've got a weedless spoon with me. And last but not least, any Roland Martin challenge would not be complete with that most special of Roland Martin lures. Of course, I'm talking about the helicopter. So I've got them all, I've got them all tied on. I'm gonna get fishing because I'm way too much. All right, my friends, here's the weed edge. See if the old diamond rattler can uh, rattle one up. So I just missed the fish on the Diamond Rattler. I feel like they're up in this area. I'm tempted to switch to a different bait, but I think this is gonna be one of my easier bites on the day. So I'm gonna keep on it while the cloud cover is still up. Well, I think there's a good chance of a topwater bite. There's one. There's one. Oh. Ho. Oh. Ho. <laughs> I get him in. Bam. All right. Two fish so far in our Roland Martin challenge. All right. I knew this little thing was going to get hit. Diamond Rattler strikes not again, I guess, but strikes once. <laughs> oh, that was cool. That was cool. I'm pretty much fishing this bait just like I would a head and torpedo. 
um, pretty similar. It actually casts better than I thought. They came out of the package a little bit late, and so I was a little bit nervous about that. But so far, they cast just fine. Well, my line's all jacked up, but that's okay. So here is the diamond rattler, and there's the fish. <laughs> I'm glad that worked. So that is two fish on the day with two baits that I have never fished before. Nice little prefrontal largemouth bass on the old diamond rattler. Let's let this dude go and get on to another Roland Martin bait. So now I have a decision to make. <sighs> Do I go with this, the old school Johnson silver minnow? or golden minnow in this case. Or do I break out the big dog, <laughs> the helicopter lure? I've caught a ton of fish on this over the years. I have yet to hook one on the helicopter lure, so I'm a little bit nervous about it. I'm up two fish so far. The storms I think are gonna pass this, so I think I've got a pretty good shot of being on the water for a little bit. Um, all right, I'm, I'm gonna chicken out. I'm gonna go with the silver minnow. There's a lot of thick weeds here. I think I can get a quick fish on that. And then it's helicopter time. Oof. And meanwhile, I could just be like smoking fish on a top water. Instead, I'm gonna be, you know, casting that probably for the rest of the day. <sighs> the things I do for you, Roland. Got one. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> Silver minnow, or, or gold minnow, that is. <laughs> oh, ooh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Come on, buddy. All right. I figured out the key. I had to slow that thing way the heck down. I was fishing it way too fast. Let's get him in. Ah, there we go, nice fish on the silver minnow. Boom, that makes three out of four missions complete on the Roland Martin Challenge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the conditions have been like crazy today. They've been blowing, it's been sunny, it's been all over the place. Um, I've been working this grass flat and I was fishing this thing way too fast, not by intention, but just because I'm blowing so much. So I really slowed it down, I started dragging it. And there we go, a nice fish on the classic, old school silver minnow. Nice. There's number three, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. I will let him go. Let's talk for a minute about the new old tackle that I caught that fish on. I know that Roland Martin had a Johnson sponsorship at one time, and he even had a Roland Martin a Johnson minnow fishing kit that I've been trying to get my hands on. So he definitely fished with the silver minnow. I imagine down in the Florida Everglades, this thing is money. However, I don't know if Roland also fished with this. This is my Johnson spin cast combo. I figured to go with the spoon well. This is a Johnson Century spin cast reel. It's the classic green metal. I think the part number on this is 100B. And it's paired up with this, a six foot medium action Johnson AccuRod. It's a two-piecer and it's, um, it's a rod. I've had this thing tied up to Johnson Minnow for a while, looking for an excuse to throw it. So I'm glad I finally got this combo wet and I'm even more glad that I caught a fish on it. And then there was one. I've caught a fish on every bait I set out to fish with today in my self-induced Roland Martin challenge, including the Diamond Rattler Topwater, the Blue Fox Roland Martin Spinner Bait, and the Johnson Silver Minnow. I've got just one more fish and one more bait to catch it on to complete my Roland Martin Grand Slam, if you will. Conditions are definitely not getting better for this thing. I've been fishing like a topwater in the morning. Now that the sun is getting a little bit higher, I think I might have to worm this thing a little bit. I'm not looking forward to that. I've destroyed two bait casting reels so far with the helicopter because basically it's been helicoptering my line 
pretty hardcore. I think I might have had my shot with this already and I botched it, so we'll see. But that's what I've got tied on. I've changed to a silver color uh, since I did just catch that fish on the silver minnow, although that was gold. I think that the, the water is super clear. I think that white is a little bit too much to fish subsurface. So I've got a silver helicopter lure. I'm gonna wrap out my day with that. Wish me luck. I got a fish, but the line is so twisted. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've got a fish, and my helicopter lure line is just totally jacked. I'm gonna have to hand line him in. That was a mess. Oh, don't get off. Don't get off. <sighs> Holy smokes. So of course, that was all, you know, camera off for the good stuff. I was fishing this little grass flat here and I was just slowly letting this thing sort of buzz over the tops like a buzz bait, dropping it down. And right when I did that, this guy hit. I set the hook, <laughs> but you gotta see this. Because this thing has just been doing this to my line, I don't know if you can see that, all day long, about every third cast, I've gotta stop and let the helicopter lure unhelicopter. I set the hook. Luckily, I got a good hook in him because after that, I had no access to my reel and I had to hand line him in. Um, it's been a day with Roland, huh? <laughs> First fish I caught after a backlash while the spinnerbait was sitting on the bottom. This guy I hand lined in on the helicopter lure. <sighs> but that's how you get it done, son. Four fish, four lures. Roland Martin challenge is complete. <laughs> Let's let this poor guy go. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and I'll see you guys back in the studio. said and done, honestly, a pretty awesome day on the water. Uh, not necessarily the numbers or the size that I like to catch, uh, but I do feel happy that we were able to get at least one fish on every bait we threw, including some lures that honestly have given me some real trouble over the years. As I mentioned on the water, Roland has not necessarily been as prolific of either a lure designer or a lure endorser as somebody like Bill Dance. That being said, he has had his name on a couple of pretty cool baits over the years, and slowly but surely, I've been collecting those baits. In the order that I caught fish, I do wanna show you some of these classic Roland Martin baits. Pretty cool packaging, and honestly, Roland is almost unrecognizable in some of the photos. Roland Martin had a pretty good relationship with Blue Fox over the years, and I've got a handful of pretty cool Roland Martin Blue Fox baits. Here are two spinner baits similar to the ones that I was fishing today. So here's the bait I was fishing with today. This is a Roland Martin signature spinnerbait, quarter ounce with a single willow leaf blade. It really fished pretty good in the weeds all said and done. And honestly, it actually casted pretty good for a quarter ounce bait. Generally those can be a little light and a little bit tough to cast in some conditions like we had on the water today. Check out a picture of Roland Martin with a couple of nice lunkers. So here's the bait itself. It comes with a single blue fox stamped willow leaf blade, which is pretty nice. The classic Sampo ball bearing swivel. By the way, he probably should be using those on the helicopters. Standard light wire. A nice compact little cone head. I actually like that head. Standard two color skirt. We call it today on the chartreuse and black. 
Single hook, I added the stinger just because. I'm a huge spinnerbait guy. I have never fished with this particular spinnerbait, but now that I've opened one out of its original package, I'm definitely gonna add it to the retro bass and repertoire. And speaking of Blue Fox, here's a couple of Roland Martin signature living rubber jigs. I love living rubber, but the trouble with living rubber is that a lot of it is, um, well, past its lifespan. These guys are overall in pretty good shape and I still do fish with them today. And I think the same picture of Roland Martin with a couple lunkers. All right, the next bait that I caught a fish on today was this one. I have a few of these that I've had uh, in a tackle box for a number of years. I've never fished with them before. It's the Captain Jim Strader Diamond Rattler. Check out this very young Roland Martin on the cover. Nice stringer bass, by the way. I don't think you let them go. These are pretty cool baits. They do come in two different sizes, both a small and a large. I don't have the weights on them, so I'm not sure exactly what they weigh. I was a little bit concerned. I fished with the small one all day today. I was a little bit concerned it was gonna be tough to cast in that wind. All said and done, it got out there just fine. So when I get back to Louisiana and do some red fishing, I'm definitely gonna be bringing the big dog. Roland Martin says, Captain Jim Strader's lure, the Diamond Rattler, is the best and only service lure I used in winning the Bass Angler Sports and Societies Tournament on Lake Seminole, Georgia. There's some instructions on the back, which perhaps if I followed them, I might have done a little bit better with the Diamond Rattler today. According to Captain Jim, you'll catch more fish when you follow these simple instructions. I don't follow those very well. Uh, a, your Diamond Rattler should remain absolutely still for at least 20 to 30 seconds or longer after it hits the water. Um, I've never been able to do that. I am just way too jumpy of a fisherman to cast a top water out there and, and let it sit. You know what, I think that I'll have to get out there and maybe try to adhere that. I've heard that before. You have to cast the lure like a torpedo until the ripples dissipate. I'm just way too jumpy for that. Um, B, first movement is a very gentle twitch of the rod causing your diamond rattler to shudder slightly. Pause for 10 seconds and then shudder again. It should take you like five minutes basically to make one cast out. <laughs> but again, maybe Captain Jim knew. If a fish does not hit, cause your diamond rattler to quote, escape noisily for about two feet by giving the rod a large twitch. Okay. Do not waste time by fishing your diamond Jim all the way to the boat. Pretty sweet bait, uh, pretty awesome graphics. And by the way, these things are still pretty accessible on eBay if anybody ever wants to go out and pick up a Diamond Jim. I mentioned that Roland, I mentioned that Roland has had a couple of spoon deals over the years. I know for sure that he had a lure kit out by Johnson and that featured this bait, the classic Silver Minnow. This is one of the most brilliantly simple lure designs I think I've ever seen. I was fishing this thing in some deep weeds today and it never got snagged and very rarely did it ever end up with a piece of eelgrass on the hook. For you youngins out there who don't know what this is and you know it doesn't have a Guggen stamp on it so I get it. It's got a nice concave spoon body, a single hook, and then a wire weed guard and weeds, if you notice, go right over the top. And when a fish hits, boom. I did get one fish on this bait and then I immediately switched to the helicopter. I am absolutely gonna be fishing this thing more in the summer and I might even add a little Uncle Josh pork trailer. I had these in my hand too and I almost fished with them today. The first time I remember this bait, the Rapala Minnow Spoon, it's one of my favorites. I talk about it a lot. But I do remember Roland Martin doing a spot on this particular bait. It comes in a couple different colors. Here's silver. It has a pretty similar design to the silver minnow. And here it is in a nice fire tiger. The reason I remember Roland Martin talking about this bait is he was talking about how to customize the rapple and minnow spoon to better go through weeds. And he was actually taking a pair of pliers and pinching the eyelet just a little bit to make it a little bit more pointy. I had some old baits that I actually had pinched the eyelet on to mimic Roland. 
So remember that these days I pretty much leave this thing stock. It's the way to go. It doesn't really get too weedy and I'm always worried I'm gonna weaken that eyelet if I start pinching it. Either way, silver minnow or minnow spoon, both of them are awesome baits for weedy lakes. <laughs> and last but not least, <sighs> this bait has given me some heck over the years. Like many of you guys, I'm a sucker for anything with an as seen on TV label or an infomercial, and I definitely have a few boxes of the Roland Martin helicopter lure. The lure came a couple of different ways. First off, you could get the kit itself, which came with this awesome VHS video, which by the way, I have like nothing to play it on. So I'd love to watch it, but I can't. And then this, a tackle box full of different color helicopter lures. There were also some blister packs of this thing available. It's a four pack of helicopters, a hook, and the internal weight with the swivel. And there's Roland hanging out with a big old lunker. <sighs> so this is a bait that I so, <laughs> I so wish worked. And, and maybe, um, maybe I'm fishing it wrong. Maybe the swivel that I've got is just too old, too crusty, and maybe I just need to upgrade with something a little bit more modern. One of the challenges I had casting this bait today, especially when I'm fishing it in that fast buzzbait fashion, is that the lure spins so fast that this swivel just cannot keep up with the twists. So just about every third cast, I would reel in, I'd pick up the uh, lure, and it would spin on its own, uh, counter helicopter-wise, <laughs> for about 20 seconds. I've got a feeling I could probably overcome that if I had a better swivel. But you can imagine, any bait that you throw out there that just spins non-stop, non-stop, the entire time you're reeling it in, you've got to have a pretty darn good swivel to counteract that. What happened today, the camera was off, I was reeling this thing in, buzzbait style, over a little bit of a weed edge. It hit the edge, I let it drop down, and the bass hit. I set the hook, and immediately all those twists in the line went around the tip of my rod. My reel immediately was ineffective and I had to hand line that sucker in. Thank goodness I got him in. I think I would have been honestly heartbroken if I would lost the fish uh, at that point in the game. All said and done, today was a pretty fun day. As I mentioned on the water, I consider Roland Martin one of the holy trinity of the TV bass hosts. Bill Dance, Jamie Houston, and Roland Martin are the three guys that honestly I leaned on heavily on Saturday mornings growing up. Yes, he used to have a great TV fishing show, but, and I don't know if you guys noticed the Scott Martin Challenge t-shirt on, but Scott Martin has a great YouTube channel and Roland actually started following the steps of his son and has, I think, honestly, one of the best YouTube fishing channels out there. So I'll drop a link down below, both to Scott's channel and to Roland's, but Roland's is definitely worth checking out. He still fishes at old school, and um, uh, it's, it's just a hoot to see Roland Martin vlogging, by the way. As you can see in the wall behind me, there's a ton of legends that I think we need to pay homage to on Retro Bassin. So in the comments section down below, let me know what is the next challenge you would like to see on Retro Bassin. And until next time, keep your helicopter lures twirling and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin.